सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर डिटेल्स सो गाइस टूडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ होलोग्राफिक शेड इफेक्ट विद यूजिंग ई वी रेंडो सो फर्स्टली गाइस क्लिक ऑन हेयर एंड डिलीट और एज एक्स लाइक दिस so now guys first of all i take plane and i increase plane size size like this little bit bigger yeah see guys that's my scale size i take 10 and next one guys i apply 3d character model this one that's my fbx format file so import and guys i have 3d character like this See guys, that's my 3D character. So play, yeah. And see guys, that's my last one keyframe. So end frame I like 50. I create seamless animation. Yeah. See guys, that's my simple character, right? Guys, now I apply cool holographic shade effect. So I go to shading this one. Yes. And guys, firstly I create. material for this plane so select this plane and create new material yes little bit up and guys i apply image texture so go to image texture yeah connect with roughness so guys this image texture guys i have texture see so guys that's my dirty texture yes and guys base color i like black like this yeah See guys, that's really cool, right? Simple. Okay, so now, so guys, select this image texture. Press Control T. Yes, that's my mapping, right? Okay, so guys, next one, I create bump effect. So go to Add and use bump. Select this one, bump. Yeah, and next one, guys, I use color ramp. Color ramp. Yeah. So guys, select this color ramp. connect with height and this bump map connect with normal map this one yes and guys go to on here select this this one connect with color ramp yes see guys that's my really cool bump effect right okay so guys now you can also change uv this one scale size like 2 and 2 yes and guys location this one change yes yeah much better right see okay so guys i change little bit scale size yes really good guys i take scale size like 1.5 yeah good yeah Good. Okay, see guys, that's my simple plain texture. And next one, guys, I create material for this one, 3D character. So go to on here. See guys, that's my alpha surface. As second one, that's my joint. So select this alpha surface and create new material. This one, and that's my default. So delete. Yes. Create new. Yeah. And guys, select this principal BSDF. Press delete key. So guys, I use mix shader, mix shader, yeah, and connect with surface like this, yes. And next one, guys, I use emission, and guys, select this emission, connect with surface. Last one, and color, guys, take any one color, like orange color, like this. And guys, strength, I like twenty, yeah, good. Okay, so guys. I take this time transform actually transparent select this transparent bsdf so connect with second one like this yes and guys next one i use mix rgb shader this one mix rgb so connect with this one yes okay so guys i create holographic effect so use fractional So like this fractional and guys duplicate shift D so guys 
correct first one that's my first color and second color yes and guys i use this time color ramp so use color ramp and guys color connect with ior and second one connect with ior yeah right okay so guys this one that's my white color so change position i like 0.55 yes guys next one this time i use noise texture and connect with face this one yes right see guys that's cool okay so guys scale size i change like 500 yes and press ctrl t so select this noise texture press ctrl t that's my mapping yeah and guys scale size 0 and z1 0 yes see guys that's really cool it's my holographic effect yeah and guys go to render setting here mb occlusion check bloom power check and surface yeah good okay so guys next one i create transparent effect so guys go to render setting here that's my render setting and guys blend mode to use alpha blend and use this one alpha hash yes good so go to on render preview yeah it's really cool see guys that's my transparent effect and guys screen spacing reflection check and guys that's my surface check yeah good okay so guys go to on here that's my environment so use black much better see guys that's my beautiful texture right guys you can also increase the scale size this one is dependent on your work like 600 is also good yeah and roughness little bit increase like 0 0.8 yes good okay so guys now i create animation so guys go to our mapping this one that's my mapping so y axis this one location y so guys type code so hashtag and use frame frame star like 0 0.01 enter and press space bar yeah see guys that's my really cool shader animation yes really good so go to on here yes good okay so guys that's my really cool effect and now guys you can also apply this one material on joint so like shader that's my shader go to on joint this one and apply same that's my joint yeah really good that's my transparent effect okay so guys now i go to on layout and go to render preview yes and next one guys i apply background so go to add and apply landscape and change properties that's my preset guys take anyone but i like this one yeah and guys that's my subdivision surface 256 y-axis 256 enter yeah and guys select this one and increase scale size yeah good go to back guys apply same effect shader on this one that's my background so go to on shader and that's my background yes but see guys that's not correct so i change uv so closer so uv to change this one yeah really cool guys right okay so now guys go to render preview yeah and this time i apply light so go to on down and use light so go to add and take point light this one and guys center guys go to light and color i like same orange color and as i like one yeah guys power i like 150 and yeah 
really good see guys that's a beautiful shader like this okay so guys next one guys select this light point light and duplicate press ctrl c and v and go to on here select this point light and change color guys i like blue color yeah and one more time copy go to on here yes and guys select this character and right click on here select hierarchy yeah and duplicate so go to on here and change color guys select this this one and guys i change only this animation color like blue 0.6 really good and next one select this armature hierarchy and copy go to on here yeah beautiful guys right and go to timeline and play yes that's my beautiful animation guys and beautiful shader effect yes really cool okay so guys next one i take camera and camera guys go to on back like this set your camera angle guys select your camera position rotation 90 and all zero guys set your position that's my position like minus 7 and zero little bit up yes guys select your background and scale size increase and guys camera little bit closer yeah good yes okay so guys select your background and little bit back yeah good more yes okay so guys i select on the light this one point light select all point light and duplicate duplicate go to on back that's my backlight yes and go to camera view and guys go to render setting guys go to render preview yeah really cool guys okay so guys select this point light and increase power to 50 guys more i like 500 is also good yes select this one yeah and last one 500 yes see so guys that's a beautiful shader effect that's really cool effect so go to render setting guys you can also increase bloom effect is depend on your concept like this 0.5 is good yeah okay so guys go to back and play yes so guys that's my final one that's my render preview okay so guys go to on render setting output guys go to desktop create new folder like ran new and take any file name like a yes and guys png format is good good so guys go to render setting render and render animation check okay so guys that's it that's my final animation and it's really cool shader so guys if you like my video please share and subscribe my channel thank you